And welcome back. It's now 640 here on Good Morning East Texas. It's a tragic topic too often overlooked. Child abuse is more common than many realize, and that's the reason John Borgstedt has put his childhood experiences into a book to help others. Joan Hallmark brings us his heartbreaking story in this morning's Proud of East Texas. Hello, my name is John. Although bearing scars, both physical and emotional, I stand before you today a strong, determined man of integrity and honesty. John Borkstedt's journey to self-esteem and realization has been a long and painful one. As detailed in his book, I Love You, Mom, Please Don't Break My Heart. I thank every child, regardless of what a parent does to them. The more the parent pushes them away, the harder the child strives for that love. John says he was striving for his mother's love until the day she died, although she had never shown any love for him. She would beat me beyond belief. Uh, she would bang my head into the walls, uh, and I'm still epileptic today from it. In his book, John describes episodes of sexual, mental, and physical abuse. He says one time his mother came close to killing him. Several times she would give me medication that would actually paralyze me. And one time... I put it under my tongue. You know, it, it, something told me just don't take it. So I spit it out. Thinking John was paralyzed from the drug, his mother drove him to an isolated country road and took him out of the car. She pulled me out and laid me on the ground and I still didn't move in fear of her beating me again. Uh, and she placed a plastic bag over my head. John realized it was now a matter of life and death and ran. He sought the help of a minister who sadly took him back home. It just continued and continued, and, and the older I got, the more the abuse got more horrific. Uh, and every time, it was, we're going to go back to another institution. In between bouts of abuse, John's mother would confine him to state institutions. That's an institution. That's in Austin. So you never had a birthday party or any kind of celebration in your home? <laughs> didn't have any folks just be home how many institutions he was in beginning at the age of three but in each case the doctors would send him home after finding nothing wrong with him his mother eventually ran out of places to send him and his negative behavior as a teenager trying to get his mother's attention landed him in prison Ironically, it was while in prison that John reaffirmed his faith in God and turned his life around. I wanted John Borkstead to mean more than just a TDC number. Why did you write your book? I wrote the book for peace of mind for myself, to heal the broken past that I've had as well as help other kids who are suffering from the same thing that I'm going through today and letting them know that there is someone out there who cares. And the conclusion they came up with is this child needed a class in anger management. John is often invited to speak before law enforcement officers and child protective services. Letters from people throughout the world have shown him that his case is not an isolated one. There have been contacts about turning I Love You Mom into a movie, but whatever the future, John Borkstedt just hopes that his efforts draw attention to the problem of child abuse and help others who have been victimized. Did your mother ever tell you she was sorry? So I walked up to her and I gave her a hug and a kiss and I told her I love you and I forgive you for everything. In that last meeting, John's mother turned her back on him and walked out the door. She died a month later. The first step to getting through anything is forgiven those who have hurt you. And after that, it's one day at a time. Until next time, from Canton, I'm Joan Hallmark. I Love You, Mom is available at Barnes & Noble Bookstores, Hastings, and at Amazon.com.